in the last topic we were seeing what is economic activity and we saw economic activity is performed for earning livelihood or earning money and broad classification of economic activities we have seen one was a profession another one was employment now we are going on to the third classification of economic activity which is very relevant for us and which is very directly connected to our subject the third classification of economic activity is called business and that is what we are going to learn business business now the word business comes from the word busy derived from word busy derived from word busy so you can very well think we are doing lot of activities in order to earn profit busy buying selling producing acquiring things in order to and exchanging it for a value to get money in return so many a things are happening in the activity of business which makes us busy so it is from the word busy the word business has been derived business has been derived and uh, what to say any activity cannot be called business whatever activity which is performed by human being cannot be called business for an economic activity to be called a business it requires to fulfill some features or we will see what are the features which makes a human activity which makes an economic activity called business first and foremost thing is that it must be an activity which is for earning money it must be for earning money earning money or livelihood or livelihood put it like this earning money it must be for earning money it must be for earning something for us to survive so any activity which is performed in order to get some money uh it can be in an individual way it can be in an organized way when we are doing something to get money in return to earn livelihood and not because of any love or compassion or anything like that it is perfectly for earning money any activity which is performed in order to earn money it must be an economic activity a activity an activity to be called business it must be an economic activity second thing is that how do we earn this money for earning that money there must be procurement of goods and services procurement of goods and services or production of goods and services so second thing to happen is production or procurement of goods and services there must be production and procurement of goods and services that means uh, uh, what to say if you want to earn some money you need to produce something 
you need to get the raw materials convert it into something which can be used by a person or you need to get some materials in direct form and which can be useful or which can be used by other person so the production or procurement of goods and services must happen in an economic activity there must be production there must be procurement getting things it it must be acquired now after this production or procurement we are getting wood from the forest or we are getting fish from river or sea wherever it be what are we going to do with this or how will we get money there must be earning money we said by production and procurement how we are going to get money there comes the third feature of business that is there must be sale and exchange of goods there must be sale and exchange of goods sale and exchange of goods and these produced things or this procured things are to be sold to someone to a person to a person who wants it and uh, it must be for a person who is to consume it at my home i am purchasing fish from a fish vendor for me and my family members to eat i am paying money so that is also another thing which we have to consider those goods those services which are procured or produced is been sold is been sold or exchanged to a person who is going to consume it for, and this sale or exchange is done for a value the sale and exchange is done for a value so that is the third feature there must be sale and exchange of goods and services to the person who is in need of it for a value for a value it has to be exchanged it has to be sold so that is the third condition for an activity to be called a business now another thing you have to learn is that there is production there is procurement of goods and services sale and exchange of goods think i have a car i have a car and i am using it for i used it for 2 3 years and after third year i am thinking i want to buy a new model car and i purchased it for 3 lakh rupees and i have made some advancements on that or i have i have made some uh extra work on that and it cost it made me to pay another 50000 more so 3 lakh 50000 is the total value of the car and after 3 years if i am getting say say depreciation is been considered as 50000 and if i am getting if i am getting 3 lakh 10000 after 3 years after 3 years if i am getting 3 lakh 10000 where my depreciation i which i have calculated is 50000 so 3 lakh 50000 minus 3 lakh is it is uh, uh, sorry 3 lakh 50000 minus 50000 is 3 lakh and when i am selling i am getting 3 lakh 10000 rupees where i am getting a 10000 extra as per the value so can it be considered business sale and exchange procurement or i have uh, given it for uh, what to say i have given it for value and i am getting a profit i am getting uh, what to say something in return can it be called a business activity it cannot be because when an economic activity which is fetching us some money 
for a single time cannot be considered as a business it has to be performed or the dealings that means sale and exchange production and procurement has to be done on regular basis it has to be done continuously for a single time activity of sale and exchange getting profit uh, cannot be considered as a business activity it is to be it is considered to be a business activity only when only when it is done on a regular basis so the fourth condition for a economic activity to be called business is that it has to be done on a regular basis it has to be done on a regular basis continuously it has to be done if i am purchasing a car today tomorrow selling it for more value and with that i am purchasing another car i am selling it again so it is for consumption of somebody i am doing it repeatedly that is called business it has to be performed on regular basis and it must be the fourth condition the fifth condition is it must fetch us profit it must give profit or it must give some income above the expenses it must be providing us with profit we must have income above the expenses so an activity which is performed after production procurement and sale of exchange of goods and services must provide us with some profit or profit earning must be the aim of that activity that is another feature of business it must be done for earning profit that means an amount above the expenses what we have made that is another feature now another major feature is that there is every time we cannot expect profit to happen there is a chance of loss also there is a chance of loss also so that is the next feature of business that is element of risk is there element of risk is there element of risk risk is the chance of loss in business risk is the chance of loss in business because it is uncertainty we are not very sure regarding the return or we can say that there is an uncertainty of return uncertainty of return because we don't know what is going to happen in future we don't know what is going to happen in future whether it will happen according to what we are thinking it may not it may not there is an uncertainty prevailing in the activity of business you have to understand that is a feature that is a uncertainty we are not sure regarding what is going to happen and it can result in loss and that is what we called the element of risk chance of loss in business risk is the chance of loss in business and it can happen because of the uncertainty regarding what is going to happen in future so if an activity if an economic activity is fulfilling all this condition there is procurement and production of goods either produced or go, uh, getting goods from nature or wherever it be we are producing or procuring goods we are selling or exchanging those goods for a value again it is done on regular basis for earning something above the expenses what we have made and every time we cannot expect profit to be there it also has a chance of loss in business there is an element of risk 
such an activity can be termed as business.